हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम्स फॉर अपकमिंग गूगल कैलेंडर इवेंट्स सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल दैट यू आर अ मैनेजर ऑफ एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन now whenever you are creating new events in your google calendar you need to inform your team on microsoft teams that a new event has been created and they need to attend that particular event or they need to attend that particular meeting but here you are doing it manually whenever a new event is created in your google calendar you need to go to your microsoft teams and you need to inform them manually but this is a time consuming and a tiresome process so here in this particular video we have came up with an automation by which whenever you are going to create a new event in your google calendar automatically your team is going to receive a message or a notification on microsoft teams on in a specific channel that a new event has been created but here the problem is that there is no direct connection between your google calendar and microsoft teams so in this video we are going to use a software application that is pabli connect so basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Google Calendar with Microsoft Teams automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So how you can set up this automation? For that you need to come to my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type p a b b l y pabli dot com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get 100 task free every month. And if the task expire, the same 100 free task will be credited to your account in the next month also. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. I'm just going to click on login over here. From the All Apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we need to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Google Calendar to Microsoft Teams. integration here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement okay and simply click on create now we can see a trigger window and an action window so pabli connect works on the concept of trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so in this particular use case we want that whenever a new event is created into your google calendar automatically the same event details should be shared with your team on microsoft teams for that first we need to create a connection between google calendar and pabli connect so that all the event details are captured over here in pabli connect so let's open this trigger window and here let us choose the application name as google calendar select the trigger event as new event Now click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with google calendar now it is asking me to choose an account to continue to pabli connect calendar so i'll just choose an account from here pabli connect calendar wants additional access to your google account so let's scroll down click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with pabli connect authorization successful And now the Google Calendar account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Google account. So make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your Google account. Now here I have already created some calendars in my Google Calendar account. You can see meetings calendar, Pabli integration, reminders, task webinar. So all these calendars are captured over here in Pabli Connect as we have created a connection. So now I want that whenever I create a new event in Pabli integration calendar, then only this work particular workflow should run. So here I'm selecting my calendar name, and here also I have selected the same calendar name that is Pabli Integration. Okay. Now before clicking on Save and Send Test Request, we are going to create a new event in our Google Calendar. Just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest response. So let's move to the calendar, and here we are just going to create a new event. So click on this plus sign, Create. Click on Event, 
and here we are going to add the title uh, let us give the title as accounts department meeting okay accounts department meeting and uh, the date would be 8th of august and let's change the timing from here and the timing would be from 1 pm till 3 pm okay and if you want to add some guests, you can just add the guest over here. You can add the location also. And here we need to give the description. So let's give the description as all the team members of accounts department needs need to attend this meeting. Okay, attend this meeting. So we have entered a message over here as a description. All the team members of accounts department needs to attend this meeting. Okay. And if you want to add some attachments, you can just add the attachment URL over here. Okay. Now let's click on save. So here we can see that a new event is saved. Let's move back to public connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request. Okay and here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the new event are captured over here. When we scroll down we can find the created date and time over here. We can find the summary the title as accounts department meeting. Here we can find its description. Okay and here we can find the calendar name as public integration and this is the start date and time. And this, was be, this will be the end date and time. Okay. So here all the details are captured. Now we want to share the same details, the same event details with our team on Microsoft Teams. So scroll down, come to this action event and here in the choose application, let us find Microsoft Teams. Select the action event as send message in a channel. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Teams. Now it is asking permissions requested review your organization. So it is asking for the access over here. Let's scroll down and click on accept and the connection will get created over here. Authorization successful. And now Microsoft Teams account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Microsoft Teams account also. So make sure before creating a connection, you're logged into the account. Now here it is asking for the team name. So here I'll take you to my Microsoft Teams account. And here you can see I have already created some teams. Okay. Digital Initiative, Public Relations, US Sales, Retail, Pabli Connect. So now I want to share the event details on my Pabli Connect team. So I'll be selecting the same team name over here. You can find all the same team names over here as we have created a connection. All the team details are captured. So let us select a specific team name that is Public Connect. And in this particular team also I have created some channels. Okay. You can see monthly reports, Pabli team and general. Okay. The same channels, uh, sorry, the same details are captured over here. The same channel details. So I want the event details to be shared on my Pabli team channel. Okay. So event details will be shared on Pabli team channel over here. Okay. And now it is asking for the message. What do you want to send as a message? So here I'll be entering the data. New event created. Okay, and we'll be sharing the event details over here. Event name. And after that, event date. And along with that, event description also. Okay, and here we'll be mapping the details that we have got from our trigger response. Okay, yes. So here we have got all the event details. So we will be mapping the event details from our trigger response. So let us map them. Here we'll be mapping the event name. So for mapping, come to Google Calendar. And here let us find the event name that is Accounts Department Meeting. In the same way, we'll be mapping the event date. So here let us find the event date. It will be the start date and time. And here we have to map the description. So here let us map the description. 
all team members of the department needs to attend this meeting. Okay. And now we are going to click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the same event details is shared on our Pabli team channel. Let's check it. Okay, and here we can find the same event details, new event created. Here we can find the event name, its event date and its description. And in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the trigger response has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the data as the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently. The data will surely arrive. Okay. Now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that let's go move to our Google Calendar over here. And we are just going to create a new event. And here let us select the date as 12th of August. Okay. And uh, I am just going to add the title as sales and marketing team meeting. So I am just add adding the random meeting details over here. You can just specify the events as per your requirement. Okay. And here I'm just going to add the description, the same description. Okay. All team members have to attend the meeting. Okay. So we have entered the message uh, description, sales and marketing meeting, all team members have to attend the meeting. Okay. And here we have specified the date as 12th of August. The timing would be 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Now let's click on save. Event saved. Okay. Now let's move back to our Microsoft Teams account. We have to just refresh it. And even after refreshing, we can't find that event details shared on our Microsoft Teams channel just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So we have to wait for some time. Okay, and here after three to four minutes, we can find the event details, new event created, event name as sales and marketing team meeting. Here we can find the event date as 12th of August and here we can find the description. Okay, so in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to public connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Calendar and public connect so that whenever a new event is created into a specific calendar, the event details are captured here in public connect. And using the details of the event, we have sent a message to our team on our specific channel that an event has been created. And in this way, we have learned that how we can create an integration between Google Calendar and Microsoft Teams using Pabli Connect. Thank you, everyone. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.